the No Fade channel, checking in. Today, I'm giving you the top five reasons that your arms just aren't growing and how you can fix them. The number one biggest reason that your arms just aren't growing is that you are either overtraining or under training as a natural lifter. And unfortunately, most of you are on social media and you're getting all your advice from influencers who are on copious, and I do mean copious amounts of gear. And taking that advice can have some disastrous consequences. Also, many of you have that old school bodybuilding mindset where you train arms once a week. And if you're on a ton of gear, more power to you, that's gonna work fantastic. But if you're a natural lifter, you want to be training multiple times per week in order to stimulate protein synthesis and to get those arms to grow. For me, I have found training arms twice every eight days is that sweet spot. And hitting nine very hard working sets is that money shot that's gonna give me all of the strain and struggle and volume that I want on my arms but it's gonna still allow me to rebound and come back fresh for the next training cycle. Now, everybody's body and recovery time is completely different. You are gonna to need to figure out what works best for you in terms of the number of times you're training per week, as well as the amount of sets per session. And I will tell you, for most of you, 15 sets of biceps may give you that crazy pump. But if you're a natural lifter, it's going to be doing you more harm than good. Reason number two is that you are simply not adding enough variety into your arm training. Now, the bicep and the tricep, it's not just one muscle. There's multiple muscles in and around your arm. They're made up of different heads, and they actually need to be trained at different angles with different exercises. As human beings, it's very easy to fall into a comfortable pattern of doing the same exercises that we're used to. It is vital that we add variety into our arm training if we want our arms to grow. And that can be as simple as adding in exercises that we just haven't done in a long time. It also can be changing up the hand position on exercises that you're already doing, as well as just changing grip attachments on some of the exercises, allowing it to hit different angles of your muscle. Time out. I need to give all of you a huge thank you for using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. When you use those links, they not only support the channel, they also go into paying for future content. Let me know when you use those links so that I can send you a small token of my appreciation. The third reason that many of you aren't layering on that muscle to your arms like you want to be is that you're simply avoiding calories, specifically carbs. You need to eat big to get big. Many of you know you need to be in a caloric surplus, but you are trying to add in more protein. And at a certain threshold, more protein isn't necessary. You've already capped off the amount of protein you possibly need for the day in terms of your muscle repair. I'm not telling you to go down to Dunkin' Donuts and put down a dozen glazed crawlers. I'm not telling you to go to Chipotle and get two grande burritos. I'm telling you to put in slightly extra calories than you're currently eating, preferably in the form of carbs and preferably before you train so that you're not training fasted. If you get those car carbs in your system before you train and during your training, you're gonna feel better, have more energy while you're training and that those carbs are gonna be fuel for your guns. Now for me, when I want to avoid training fasted, but I don't want whole food kind of bogging down my guts and slowing me down during my training, I go to Nutribio's leg day. This thing is an intra-workout powerhouse. Think about your typical intra-workout and just throw some steroids in there because this thing is absolutely jam Pack. Look at this scoop size, 47 grams. That's bigger than your protein scoop. I will tell you straight away what's in here, everything and the kitchen sink. I mean, it's a huge laundry list. We're gonna go through it. When you're training, you need to replace everything that you're sweating out, all of those electrolytes. This thing has it in spades. We've got taurine, calcium. We've got coconut water powder, pink Himalayan sea salt. We've got sodium as well as magnesium. When you are training, you wanna stay focused and this thing throws in a bunch of nootropics and stuff that is gonna help you not only mentally stay in the game, but help you with that ATP production. Velvet bean extract, Elevate TP, Neurofactor, and Synactive. Now what about the fuel to grow? 
This thing has it. It has branched chain amino acids and essential amino acids, the building blocks of protein. And then they throw in carbohydrates. Now, most of the time when you get a drink that has carbohydrates in it, it's straight sugar, if you're lucky, and it just jacks up your insulin. And you don't want that. You don't want 30 grams of a whole bunch of junk carbohydrates. They throw in two forms of carbohydrates, D-ribose, which is good for your heart, as well as the fact that it's quick to get into your system. So you've got five grams of that, just enough to get your body going and make sure that you've got that fuel when you get out the gate. And they throw in one of my favorite carbohydrate sources, highly branched cyclic dextrin, another 20 plus grams of that. And that is beautiful because it is low on the glycemic index. It digests over a long period of time, but it's not gonna upset your stomach. So you're getting some quality carbohydrates in there that are gonna fuel your workout and they'll be in your system post-workout as well. Now, obviously I'm a massive fan of Nutribio because they make their own supplements. They don't outsource it to a third party random company. They make their own supplements in New Jersey in a certified GMP facility. They have transparent labels. They use trade name products on their ingredients and they have third party testing to ensure what's on that label is 100% in the bottle. Now I got their latest flavor, passion fruit pineapple. Tastes like pineapple with a hint of fruit punch kind of on the back end. It's really good, really refreshing. This leg day comes in seven flavors. And what my favorite is probably New York Punch followed by Blueberry Lemonade. Those two absolutely smash. Now you don't have to go with Nutribio's leg day. I've just found that it tastes good, it works, it's convenient, and it fits my lifestyle. If you want, go with a protein shake and a banana if that's your bag. Just make sure you're taking in quality calories and nothing that's going to bloat your stomach and slow you down during your training. And the fourth reason that your arms simply aren't growing is that you have picked a very poor rep range. Now don't feel bad, most people fall under this issue on two different categories. Number one, for most of you gym bros, is that you're just going way too heavy. The mindset is if you go super heavy, you're gonna shock that muscle into growing. And that's not necessarily true. When you go really heavy and your reps are extremely low, you're not actually putting a lot of volume of work into the muscle and you're opening yourself up to an extremely high level of risk of hitting snap city. And you can't train if you are injured. Now, conversely, a lot of people will go super high to the moon with their reps. They'll do rep after rep. They get a crazy pump. They get those Instagram photos and they love it. And unfortunately, that's not helping them either. It looks good in the photos and the pump is always a great feeling. And it feels different. It feels fantastic. But it's not getting them growth because the weight that they're picking is so light, it's not gonna be creating a muscle response to that training. And to add insult, to injury by doing so many reps, you're adding in way too much and unnecessary inflammation, both into the muscle and into the joint. For me, my sweet spot has to be between four and 10 reps. The rep range is low enough where I'm able to do some significant amount of weight as a percentage of my one rep max. So that is going to generate a massive muscular response. However, it's not so low that I'm at a high risk of hitting snap city and not letting my ego take over. Now the rep range of a 10, that's high enough so I can get that good volume in without going overboard, without having to go so light that I'm not gonna get any response whatsoever. And I'll tell you, you have to work hard on that four to 10 rep max. It's easy to do sets of one or two when you go heavy and it's easy to do sets of 20 when you go super light. I'm telling you that sweet spot is where all that muscle's gonna be built. And the fifth and final thing you need to fix to get your arms to grow is to fix your horrible form. That's right, you know who you are. Your form is absolutely trash. You're training your ego instead of your muscle. Most of you are tr doing more work on arm day on your shoulders and your back than you are on your biceps and your triceps. I know this one may hurt a little bit, but for all of you with crap form, I hate to break it to you, but your muscles don't know how much weight is on the bar or on the stack. Your muscles only know resistance and tension. Make sure that you are getting the exercises done and done right. Now this may mean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you may need to back off that weight just a tad to make sure that you're maintaining 
proper form. And when you get that form locked in, you're going to feel it in that muscle so much more, and you're going to be activating way more muscle fibers than you were with those ego lifts. So don't be a half rep Harry. Choose quality of reps over the quantity on the bar. If you want to see another epic video regarding training tips, then check this video out. And if you made it this far, we are officially best friends. That's right, Tom Brady and plastic surgery. Thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.